My name is Harun and I'm from School of Physics and I'm working on development and utilization of optical imaging techniques uh, for microcirculation and intravascular imaging. And so in that scenario, we have developed several techniques in our group. For example, I start with correlation mapping optical coherence tomography. Optical coherence tomography is analogous to ultrasound but uses light instead of sound waves. So in correlation mapping optical coherence tomography, we have combined normal OCT image acquisition with a post-processing protocol. And so and the, the CMOCT algorithm provides high resolution uh, imaging uh, microcirculation imaging maps with high sensitivity and in that scenario we have worked with, you know, uh, with a Midwestern Hospital uh, University of Limerick and we have imaged the healthy and diseased uh, vessels in that scenario. Uh, we also work on intravascular optical coherence tomography which is a catheter based technique and in that scenario we have, uh, we have uh, determine the correlation between intravascular OCT or intracoronary OCT and a gold standard technique which is fractional flow reserve. We, we have also determined the diagnostic efficiency of intracoronary OCT in identifying severe coronary stenosis and recently we came up with a, uh, with a new method for determining the uh, severity of the coron coronary stenosis which estimates the blood flow resistances, blood velocity and blood flow rate. And uh, recently uh, we, have, uh, we have come up with a photoacoustic imaging technique which is based on a photoacoustic effect and in that way we have presented a co-registered high frequency ultrasound and photoacoustic imaging. And combining these two imaging modalities is we can have a high resolution imaging with with, Im with imaging depths up to 5 centimeters. So in nutshell, you can say that optical imaging techniques provides high resolution, they are cost effective, and they are safer. Thank you very much.